Dr. Peters meant so much to me during my time at IU. I actually met him before I came down through the STARS program and he uh, bravely took me into his lab as a starting freshman at IU. So um, during freshers week, a couple days before classes started, uh, I went in and he showed me around, gave me a research project, uh, and really just took me under his wing and, and gave me an opportunity you know, to learn chemistry hands-on and to, to work with him. So I had the honor of doing it for four years and I learned so much from Dr. Peters. You know, I learned about uh, how to do research. I particularly learned about writing, which was one of his passions, you know, teaching and writing. Um, and I'm just thankful for, for all of the, the opportunities um, you know, that he provided me, but I know to, to so many um, hundreds and, and thousands of other students that he taught and, and worked with at IU as well. Uh, I have really fond memories, you know, of going to his house for Taco Mania and for the famous um, Dr. Peter's DGP margaritas, uh, which is a recipe, you know, and a tradition that we're certainly carrying on um, in his honor. So uh, it's really, you know, tragic and sad um, for IU to have lost uh, such a great person, but I'm really um, honored to have been able to spend my time at IU um, in his lab. I took C117 with Dr. Peters and I joined his research group shortly after um, he made a huge impact in my life in just the two and a half years that I knew him. Um, he introduced me to chemistry, to research, um, and he's a huge reason as to why I'm wanting to continue on with research in my career. Um, some of my favorite memories of him include him absolutely picking apart my writing, um, group lunches and dinners, and going to basketball games with him, where I think he was definitely the loudest guy in Assembly Hall. Um, I know that my experience with Dr. Peters was the rule and not the exception. Um, he was a living legend, an outstanding academic, a great research, research mentor, uh, but above all, he was a great person. I took electrochemistry with Dr. Peters a few semesters ago and from the first day, you could tell that he was kind, funny, and very good at teaching. After that class, I asked to join his lab. I knew as a junior, it was kind of late, but he was still incredibly welcoming. I think one of his best qualities is that he saw potential in every student, and he worked hard to help you reach it. I am extremely thankful for Dr. Peters for giving me such a great research opportunity. I've enjoyed working in his lab, and he's a big reason why. It was truly an honor to have Dr. Peters as a professor and a research mentor. I could tell from the very first day of class that all he wanted to do was have his students succeed and just learn as much as they can. He always went out of his way to motivate us and push us to do better. Like, he would all promise us chemistry t-shirts if we were able to study hard enough and get a perfect score on his exams. Although I didn't get to know him for very long, he inspired me to learn more about chemistry. And so I joined his undergrad research lab. And it was amazing to see someone who always gave his full attention to his students. And he asked very insightful questions during group meeting presentations. And of course, the highlight of group meeting was his homemade cheesecake. I will always be grateful that he believed in me and my abilities, and he will be greatly missed in the IU chemistry community and even more everywhere. Hi, my name is Ryan Lee, and I've worked with Dr. Peters in his lab as one of his undergrads for around two years. And I wanted to talk about what an influential mentor Dr. Peters was to me, and how his love and his care for his students was unconditional. I've had uh, plenty of unforgettable great experiences with him and Dr. Peters would be someone that I would turn to whenever I was troubled and he would provide me with warmth and comfort and he would greet, greet me uh, with a smile every time. He would give me a lot of advice in a very strict and sincere way. He would give me words of advice that were very encouraging and thoughtful, and with all the support and care that he gave me, I couldn't thank him enough for all the help that I received. There were several promises that I made with him, and I plan on fulfilling those promises throughout my life by growing into someone that he would be proud of. And I'm sure he is also proud of the several students that he, he taught at IU throughout his career. 
and Dr. Peters will always be a mentor in my life that I will always love and remember. I don't think it's easy to describe the profound impact Dr. Peters had on us students. Whether it being his, through his immense knowledge of analytical chemistry, the way he engaged us during lectures, as a research advisor, or simply because he was such a caring individual, he left a great influence on us. I think the lesson, the most important lesson I learned from Dr. Peters is to lead my life doing things I'm passionate about because this, this is the best way to not only influence others, but also to be happy. Um, Dr. Peters is a person who leads me onto the road of chemistry. Like without him, I probably won't study chemistry right now. Um, after two kids came one seventeen, uh, I decided to switch my, switch my major to chemistry, and uh, he also gave me the opportunity to do research in his group. I think he was always trying to provide any possible uh, opportunities for students. Uh, I know, like uh, my undergraduate research was not um, deep enough, but he still took me to a really big chemistry conference and uh, let me kind of confirm that I want to study chemistry in the future. So um, although he passed away, but um, his attitude, his enthusiasm about the research, about the science, will always encourage me for my future career. Dr. Peters is one of the most influential people during my time at IU. Whether you were a student in the lab or in the classroom, he was always incredibly patient and kind and everyone I knew, whether it was professors or students, they thought so highly of him, and he was probably one of the most beloved people in our department. I think my fondest memories with Dr. Peters were group dinners and lunches, and he always commented on the amount of chicken I ate, and it was a running joke in the group, and also just generally getting to work with them and see the ideas he had. He was a brilliant person, but an even better person at that. Dr. Peters was actually my first professor I had in college, and he was also my research mentor for my three years I've been here. And working with him is the closest I'll ever get to meeting Mr. Rogers, because that's who he is. He was so damn genuine, and I know that when I say his name, uh, people's association with it are going to be feelings of like warmth and intimacy. Because um, when you talk to him, he, just, he wanted to make that conversation worthwhile. And then he wanted you to either laugh or to connect with you on something. And I was thinking back to how much that's helped me in my time here in college, having somebody so accomplished care so genuinely much about me. Um, and I realized that he's done that for hundreds of other undergrads before me, hundreds of grad students, tons of professors, I'm sure, and who knows how many other people he's met in his time at Harvard and back home in California. And that's why, no matter how impressive the academic work he's done is, that'll be by far the biggest impact he's made on this world. And that I don't think we'll find anyone like him for a long, long time. Thank you.